tiles, tiles, tiles. Flo, give me the cost estimate for tiles. Hey, my people. <laughs> In spite of the fact that I keep saying that, I will not touch any cost estimate that is beyond roofing. You guys keep coming to me, especially this tiles one. And the absolute truth is that cost estimate for tiles is the most complicated cost estimate to make. There's a helicopter passing here. Cost estimate for tiles is the most difficult. In fact, it is impossible cost estimate to make. I cannot make a video and come up with, you know how I do. I make one cost estimate for everybody. I add Mr. Lenos so that I, because I know that everybody will spend more or less that amount of time, depending, I mean, in Lagos, foundation may cost you a little bit more because of the terrain, but yeah, more often than not, we can stay within one budget, yeah, for everybody. But for tiles, come on. First of all, I don't know the size of your house, so I cannot say this is the cost estimate. I don't know because the amount of tiles you need, the number of tiles depends on the size of your house, the area you need to tile. Some people want to tile all the walls of their house. Yeah, they don't want any kind of painting, both inside and outside tiles, the marble. There is a wide range of cost of tiles. We have made in Nigerian tiles, we have made in China tiles, we have Spanish tiles, we have Italian tiles. Of course, made in Nigerian tiles are cheaper than made in China tiles. These ones are cheaper than made in Spain tiles, <laughs> uh, Spanish tiles and Italian tiles. So I do not know the size of anybody's pocket. So there's a lot of permutations and combinations in this. So this is why it is the job of your tiler because as I day here, me, I cannot even calculate like I come and start sitting. There's a way to do it, which I'm going to share in this video. There's a way to do it, but me, I will not sit down and do it. It's a tedious job. <laughs> it's a tedious job. So I'll leave that to my tiler. It's part of the service that my tiler will provide when I give him the contract. So the most important thing is to get yourself a good tiler, a tiler that knows the job, like the skill of putting tiles in your house, one, and a tiler that knows mathematics because brothers and sisters, there's a lot of mathematics involved in calculation of the number of tiles. Just the calculation of number of tiles you need it for your house, number of square meters. And when you get to the market, <laughs> the calculation continues. I don't know if you've seen my going to market to buy tiles video. If you haven't seen that video, please make sure you watch it. After watching this video, I'll put the link below. Even if you have watched it before and it didn't make sense, you probably were asking why is Flo uploading a video of her going to market? Is this her Nigerian food channel? <laughs> Maybe it didn't make sense to you the first time you watched that video. I strongly beseech thee. <laughs> Let me speak Shakespearean for you to see if you hear. I strongly beseech thee to go and watch that video after watching this one because I promise you it will make sense when you watch it after watching this one because you will begin to understand the questions we were asking them at the market. Continuing, uh, tiles come in different sizes. You have 60 by 60, you have 40 by 40, you have 120 by 60, you have the one, this one that is wood like that I bought uh, for our house in the village is 120 by 25 or something like that. It won't strange because that shape of tile is quite new in the market. Then you come to another one that makes the mathematics difficult. There is no standard unit of measurement in tiles calculation in Nigeria, in, in, like everything about tiles. Let me explain what I mean by inconsistencies in the unit of measurement. On your building plan, on that floor plan, those numbers you see there are in millimeters. Those 2,000, 3,000 something, yeah are in millimeters and in the market if they ask you the size of the space you want to cover they expect to hear it in square meters you see the difference now the, your building plan is in millimeters the the market people need you to give them the size of the place the area of the place space you want to cover in square meters meanwhile the tiles themselves are in centimeters so when you get to the market they tell you 60 by 60 that's 60 centimeters by 60 centimeters that's what it means if you choose a tile because it depends on your choice of tile if you choose a tile that would determine the number of square meters in one carton of that tile so i'll put every all these things on the screen like this non-standards like 
the 60 by 60 tiles have a specific number of tiles on one carton the 40 by 40 has the 25 by 60 or something like that like i put everything on the screen yeah because there are so many different measurements of tiles in the marker and it determines how many square meters are in one carton of that this is what will tell you how many cartons of that tile you will buy for you to do this yourself you need your building plan your detailed building plan for this building plan will work with the numbers the architect give us to calculate the number of square meters of tiles needed for this room you need to read off the measurements remember these measurements are in millimeters so this side is 4.5 meters while this side is 3.9 meters so the whole room gives you 4.5 multiplied by 3.9 which is 17.55 square meters on some building plans the architect will actually give you the dimensions of each space so you don't have to read it off the edges yourself like on this building plan on some the architect will give the area of each space in square meters so you don't need to do the calculation you just copy the numbers of the building plan like in this plan you can ask your architect to include these numbers when preparing the plan the more information you have on the plan the better so when you have come up with the square meters for each space all you have to do is go to excel or get a piece of paper and write it out okay master bedroom so 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 number of square meters a madame room this living room this the other bedroom this bathroom this you also know the bathroom walls of course you cannot measure the bathroom walls from the floor plan so what you can do is to go back to your architect because you know they they're the ones that drew the elevation like the front and side and back and all that elevation of the building so they, they will know how high the walls are but just know that this is an estimate you're coming up with because sometimes they they may say for instance they may calculate based on two coaches after the lintel but on site the engineer put three coaches for you like i said that i prefer three coaches for myself for me <laughs> so something like that so but it will still be within if this is an estimate remember so it will still be within yeah it won't be so far off from what you need these are all the numbers you need and then you sit down and say how many rooms will have the same tiles on the floor assuming that the master bedroom and the madame room will have the same tiles on the floor you can add the two rooms the square meters of the two rooms if the rest of the rooms maybe is a seat bedroom house if the, the other four rooms will have the same tiles on the floor you can add all their square meters the square meters you got from each of those rooms if all your passages both the ones downstairs and the ones upstairs will have the same tiles you add them together so in essence what i'm trying to say is group all the spaces that will have the same tiles together add them together for easy calculation because this is the number you will use to go to the market when you're going to choose your tiles again if all your bathrooms will have the same tiles on the walls of the bathrooms add them up or if the master bedroom and the madame room will have a different kind of tiles and the rest of the in the bathroom i mean on the wall of the bathroom and the other bathrooms will have the same type of tiles so group them according to the same number of tiles the less number of tiles you choose the less calculation you will do when you get to the market uh, but if you choose to put every room has its own tile like some people do in their houses every room like this room have pink tile they all have brown they all have black they all... so if you choose uh, 20 different tiles for your house these are 20 different calculations that you make when you get to the market so armed with this list people will go get to the market of course this one is the actual going to the market remember you're making this estimate long before you even probably hire a tiler i don't know where you when you plan to make it if you have anybody selling tiles in the market or you can look them up on the internet actually you can google buy tiles and you'll see yeah some people that put their numbers on the internet you can call them up and say how much is made in nigeria 60 by 60 tiles like <laughs> that is the thing you need to actually go to the market choose the tile first because you saw in that video at first i didn't care if the design i was looking for if i found it in a 60 by 60 tile or if i found it on a uh, 120 by 60 tile i didn't care about the size of tile that and what you care about when you're going to the market is the design based on the color theme you want for the tiles of your house when i found the tile i needed which was a completely different like rare shape of tile that very rectangular shape of tile you saw it we had to look in our papers okay i want to use this tile in the living room and dining 
and then in the master bedroom and the madam room so my tyler added together these four spaces and came up with the total number of square meters we needed for this particular design of tile then we asked them in the market how many square meters of this particular tile comes in one carton like one carton contains how many and then they say something like i can't remember what they said but assuming that it's it's 2.4 square meters in one carton the total number of spaces that you got divide it with the number of square meters in one carton this will tell you how many cartons you need to buy also the price of that tile they tell you the price of that tile in square meters they tell you it's so, so, so amount per square meter <laughs> and then if the carton is co comes with <laughs> i'm confused my brain is fried and then if the carton contains 2.4 square meters that means you have to multiply that amount by 2.4 to get the price of one carton. You see where I'm going with this? There's too much calculation with us. So, I hope everything I said made sense. When I'm editing this video, I'll try and add more sense to it. If it doesn't make sense, yeah, I'll try and add more sense. Okay, let's say that the number of square meters in one carton of the tile you chose is 1.8 square meters. And the total square meters of all the spaces you need to cover with this tile is say 78 square meters meanwhile they told you that the price of that tile is say 8000 naira per square meter to cover all those spaces where this tile will be you calculate 78 square meters divided by 1.8 square meters which is the quantity in one carton and you will get 43.3 which is the number of cartons of tiles you need since the cost of this tile is 8,000 naira per square meter, it means that one carton is 8,000 naira multiplied by 1.8 and we get 14,400 naira as the cost of one carton. Multiply that by 44 cartons because I don't know if anyone will sell a third of a carton to you. So 14,400 multiplied by 44 equals 633,600 Naira. That's the amount you need to cover a space of 78 square meters with this specific tile. Then you do the same for other spaces or groups of spaces you need to cover with one tile. Remember, I am just using random numbers to calculate this for you. And ah, this does not even include skirting. Skirting is that edging they put at the base of the walls. Tilers calculate the number of tiles you need for the skirting of each room from the perimeter of that room. I'm not going into that, my brothers and sisters. <laughs> so yeah, bear in mind that your tiler will add tiles for the skirting. Unless you want to use another material, example wood or POP to do your skirting. I tell you. It's not an easy thing to do. It's not something I can come and make in one video for everybody that everybody will enjoy. No, that's the thing. It, there's a lot of calculation involved. But one thing you can do, an easy way you can do it is get a tiler first. Assuming you want to check, like check you know, the measurements to see if that maybe they got a total of uh, 200 or 250 square meters for your house. Uh, but actually it's less, but they told you that so that they will bump up the money it's possible if you want to check against that you can hire a tiler first like i said hire a tiler that knows mathematics and the one that knows the skill of putting the tiles hire the tiler tell the tiler to go and measure the space and send you the measurements they got they'll send you the measurement and you go back to your floor plan of course they'll send you the measurement in the, like each room for each room tell them to send you the measurements like that so you can go there, pick a few rooms, maybe you can pick the master bedroom and check it against what they sent you. Pick another random room, maybe your kitchen and check it. You can calculate it like I've, I've taught you. You can calculate that. You can read the numbers of the plan and or is even written in square meters for you for each space. So you can compare and contrast. Yeah, it should be something close. Not exactly because, you know, a lot of times on the site, go, go. Uh, they move a few centimeters and all that so yeah but you know if it's something close you pick random rooms that check it if it's something close just leave them because don't cost yourself high bp when you're checking these things <laughs> i understand that a lot of you don't trust people you don't even trust your relations you don't trust the workers you don't trust anybody try and have some trust in you 
not everybody is out to scam you and then when they get to the market through whatsapp they can be showing you the tiles you can choose you can discuss assuming you're not there i'm talking about people that are not there yeah you can choose you can even haggle with the market people via whatsapp or via phone <laughs> so via phone call if you really want to be on top of it like that but yeah like i said um you should have a family member that you trust if you can't be there i know that family members can do people many things as well but yeah this is how to do it you can compare you can let the tiler do the measurement for you and then compare random spaces so you either do it yourself from scratch calculate all the spaces yourself come up with the square meters set aside or you tell your tiler go and measure because eventually your tiler will measure at the end of the day so you tell your tiler oh yeah go and measure and then they bring you all the measurements yeah it's your right it's your job so whatever you ask them to send to you they'll send it to you so they bring you all the measurements uh, and you compare with what you have on your floor plan that's it an, an easier way than having to come calculate it yourself <laughs> and then yeah when they get to the market of course you'll be there choosing the tiles unless you don't really care some people don't care like somebody like my husband he doesn't care you'll be like go and buy tiles <laughs> it's me i already have a color theme for my house uh, in my head when i'm doing the tiles and if it's a rental property i already have like a color theme that not a very loud color thing so that it will be easy for the tenants to furnish their house yeah without having to you know, like put pink tiles or shouty colors or something like that i hope you enjoyed the video if you did you know what to do bye bye till the next video